Well, uh, one of the only two games of my Super Nintendo collection that I have not played. I have watched playthroughs, but because it requires the Super so Scope 6 baz bazooka add-on, I've got the Super Scope 6 game, but I don't have the light gun, so I can't really play this. But from what I've watched of playthroughs of it, it is a very fun game, and as soon as I get my light gun, I will play through it, and then I will do another review of it. But for me, it looks like it is a fun game. You're basically battling mechs against other mechs with this game. And your bazooka is your targeting mechanism on the television screen, I guess, to defeat some of these mechs. Also, the backgrounds and the visuals on this game are awesome from what I have seen of other walkthroughs. But... It's not the end of the world. I don't know if I'll ever be able to play this. There's... What? There's only a short uh, amount of games that you can actually do this with. There's only like five games with the Super Scope 6 add-on feature that's required. Um, or recommended. Um, I like game the games that actually have it to where you only have to use the super scope for the bonus levels you don't have to use it for the main story progression levels kinda like hunt for red october and other things and on the hunt for red october you can actually toggle off the super scope six uh... for the game itself in the options menu so you don't even have to use it for the mini games if you don't want to um, but getting back on topic, Battle Clash, it requires the Super Scope 6. And I might not, I might never even be able to get a working Super Scope 6 in order to play this game. That is, I've only seen three Super Scope 6s in my local gaming store in the last five years. That's how absurdly obscure it is in the US because it did not sell very well because it was sold with a crappy intro card but I digress um I'm going to digress Tyson bitch anyway <coughs> sorry that was my attempt at humor um but Battle Clash for what it seems is a fun game I would at least get the cartridge while it's still dirt cheap. The add on the light gun add-on can always come later to play the game, but just buy it if you want it for your collection for dirt cheap. Get the light gun later at like a convention or something where they have plenty of them in bulk. But that is my review for that as of right now. I can't play the game right now, so I can only go off of footage I've seen from other YouTubers. So please like, comment, subscribe if you like my review. As soon as I get my SNES uh, light gun, I'll be playing the hell out of that and seeing if it's worth the money that I paid for it of $3.99 or more. Expect another review in a few years or a few months depending on how quickly I can get the funds to get a like a working light gun and that's that bye bye